Uh, this is a maxi jet pump. This is a standard look of a power head. There'll be a hanger so that it hides, hangs on the side of the tank. And um, one thing to look for on a power head or a pump, power head's another name for, for, for a pump in, in the aquarium industry, um, is something with a large strainer. Because it, if you have a small strainer, you, your fish could possibly get stuck in the pump and you wouldn't want that to happen. The MaxiJet comes with a decent sized strainer. What, it's one of their options. There's a number of parts in the box that can be confusing because uh, you won't need them all. But this is one of the uh, optional strainers that they give you. And basically what the pump does is sucks the water in through the strainer and blows it out of this tube. And you can direct the tube in whatever direction you need it to be in. You can also hook up tubing and use it to power other devices. Um, occasionally you'll have to clean the power head and then some things also wear out on the power heads. It's very easy to, to clean the power head. You of course unplug it and take it out of the tank and you just twist it until you find a spot where the cap comes off and inside you'll see an impeller and I'm taking it all apart. <laughs> impeller is what, what drives the pump and you want to inspect the impeller to make sure everything's okay. Usually if your pump is stopped you may find uh, some debris stuck in there. Um, you also want to inspect inside, inside your power head, uh, see if there's any sand or anything. You can brush it out with a Q-tip or a, a tube brush. Um, when you're inspecting your, your power head, if you've been using it for any length of time, you might want to look at the shaft of the power head, see if that's worn out. Um, sometimes you'll see a little bit of wear on, on the shaft and that'll cause the magnet to rattle around and it'll be time to replace the impeller, which, you, you, which is available. Uh, another part that might need to be replaced on, on this power head is the O-ring. After two or three years, the O-ring will decay and it'll, it'll loosen, so you, you'd want to replace that and it is available. And it's very easy to put back together. Just yeah. And it's back together. Yeah, some pumps don't come with a very good strainer, but uh, AquaClear Powerheads are another very popular brand, and they have this quick, quick clear filter cartridge that will that can be attached to their power head or other power heads. Uh, inside, there's a a floss cartridge that will clear up your tank in a matter of hours. But I generally don't use that. I like the cage of the this, so I'll I'll just use this. There, it's rather a large thing to put in your tank, but if you have things like anemones or, or um, delicate fish that you don't want getting stuck in your power head, this will draw the water through a large area so that things won't get stuck to it. And uh, it's a pretty good thing to have on your power head. There's one in this tank right, right here. It's been there for years. <laughs> uh, a new type of pump or power head uh, that's come out is instead of using an impeller, it uses a propeller. This is a Hydor Coralia. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive for this type of pump, so it's become very popular. And uh, it's easy to, you, I, you almost never have to take it apart, but I'll take it apart to show you what it looks like. This is a propeller, and um, this is, it has a large strainer, and it blows a large volume of water through the tank. Uh, it draws the water through the sides and through this cage, so um, there's usually not a problem with anything getting stuck on it. And nothing can really swim in there because the force of the water coming out is so strong um, that that's not an issue. And these are very good in a reef tank for uh, creating a lot of current. There's one in this tank. Uh, and another nice feature with these is the holder is magnetic. The magnetic suction cup. So you place the suction cup where you want it. And you place the other part of the magnet in, inside the tank with the power head on it. And uh, it holds it fairly well. Yeah. So these, that's another reason these have become so popular. And it's a lot harder to take off than it is to put on. <laughs> Uh, 
And that's pretty much a wrap up of uh, power heads or pumps for saltwater tanks.